Good afternoon. Welcome to Jamonley's World of Weather. I clicked on to the long range weather forecast discussion for August 9th to the 23rd. Um, we, the pattern hasn't changed much at all, so it's basically the same forecast from yesterday. Uh, we have uh, for a trough off the, um, a longer off the west coast and across the Great Lakes in the northeast. And we'll go, you can start seeing the trough develop here. And this would be caused by energy that moved in from the northwest over the top of the ridge, intensifying this trough. Then we have an upper low off the west coast expected to live northeastward into the northwest around the midweek period as the ridge slides into central uh, Rockies and central plains. That would be the core of the hot air. As moisture lifts ahead of the eastern trough and cold front will likely lead to areas of heavy rain and thunderstorms across the Midwest Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley early next week. Not everybody's going to get it because lately here, I think we're in the middle of a drought that's been developing. I know locally I only recorded less than half an inch uh, for August of 4 and the last two months have been below normal and precipitation. Then we also have the persistent uh, monsoon of moisture into the um, west that it will spread northward into the northern Rockies. Looking ahead for August 14th to the 18th, the flow remains generally unchanged. We have a trough, trough ridge, ridge configuration, ridge here. And um, for this forecast period, the models are good agreement. I'm forecasting, okay, is this the right? Okay, yeah, this is it. Forecasting below normal temperatures here. Forecast anomalies being near 2 degrees below normal, above normal temperatures here. With the anomalies that could be near or exceed 10 degrees above normal in some locations. For precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence near 40%. Below normal precipitation forecast for this region. Probability of occurrence is near 40%. And then we go ahead... For the period for August 19th to the 23rd, this is really boring. Nothing is really happening. No activity in the, tro in the tropics. Uh, you can start seeing we still have a trough, trough ridge configuration, but you can see here in the previous map that the GFS remains to be more amplified than the other models with the eastern trough. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for a little change in temperature anomalies and a little change in the precipitation anomalies from the previous period. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for August 9th to the 23rd. Thanks for coming to Jim Monley's World of Weather and have a good day.